Hello everyone. Today we'll be talking about classification of myocardial infarction. Myocardial infarction is also known as MI. So before I go further, remember it is infarction, not infection. Many times students call it as myocardial infection, but remember it is not infection, it is myocardial infarction. So uh, first of all, you should know certain terminologies like what is myocardial infarction, what is myocardial injury, and what is myocardial ischemia. Basically, ischemia means there is less blood supply. So if we talk about myocardial ischemia, it means there is less blood supply to the myocardium. Is it kya hoga? Myocardium may blood supply kam milegi, jiskiwara se myocardium ko oxygen nahi milegi, and there can be tissue hypoxia. Then we have the another term known as myocardial injury. Myocardial injury can be detected with the help of increased cardiac biomarkers. Con -con -si cardiac biomarkers, the specific ones are troponin, troponin T and troponin I. Jab myocardium may injury ho jayegi, to jo cardiac biomarkers hai, they will be elevated. The troponin, troponin T, which is known as trop T and troponin I, which is known as trop I can be raised. That is myocardial injury. And what is infarction? Infarction is one step ahead to the myocardial ischemia. Isme kya hoga? Because the tissues are not getting proper oxygen, they'll start to die. So in the myocardial infarction, the myocardium uh, will start to die or the cells in the myocardium will start to die because of decreased blood supply leading to cell necrosis and cell death. So uh, the MI or myocardial infarction can be defined clinically and can also be defined pathologically. These definitions are as per recent AHA guidelines uh, the, the definitions which have been given in the American Heart Association recently. So, clinically, how do we define karte hai myocardial infarction? Ko? Basically, to define myocardial infarction clinically, what happens? There should be presence of acute myocardial injury. Kya dekha humne injury mein? They will be elevated or they will be abnormal cardiac biomarkers. So, kya hoga? First of all, there should be evidence of the acute myocardial injury which can be detected by increased or abnormal cardiac biomarkers such as trop T and trop I. Plus, second, kya hoga? In the setting of evidence of acute myocardial in ischemia. It means the person also has some kind of histories or some kind of presentations which is telling that he has acute myocardial ischemia. Or wo history or presentation kya ho sakta hai? The person might have the history of chest pain. The person might come in the emergency with chest pain, with palpitation, palpitation with dyspnea, shortness of breathing, pal uh, and the person might have diaphoresis, increased sweating. The, the person might be having radiating pain. Uh, chest pain has radiate ho rahi hai, arm mein, jaw mein. So these tells that uh, this might be because of the uh, myocardial ischemia. Plus, clinically, aur kya ho sakta hai? there might be presence of ECG characteristics mm -hmm. of MI, such as a person might be having, uh, pro uh, like the person might be having ST elevation, the person might be having T wave inversion, the person might be having evidence, uh, evident uh, Q wave. So this tells that a person has evidence of acute myocardial ischemia. So clinically, how do we define it? When a person has myocardial injury as detected by abnormal cardiobiomarkers, plus person has the evidence of acute myocardial ischemia, which can be seen clinically and which can also be seen through the history of the patient. And then we have the pathological definition of myocardial infarction. Pathologically, how can we define we can define MI as myocardial cell death due to prolonged ischemia. The person had prolonged ischemia and because of which now the cell death has also occurred. So this is the pathological definition of myocardial ischemia. Now coming to the topic which is clinical classification of myocardial infarction. Clinically, we can define, we can classify MI into different different classifications. We'll talk about them one by one. First of all, the classification where we define myocardial infarction into two broad terms, that is STEMI and NSTEMI. We might have heard these terms very commonly. STEMI means ST segment elevation myocardial infarction and STEMI means non-ST segment elevation myocardial infarction. So as the name is saying, 
ईसीजी में क्या हो जाएगा अगर द पर्सन हैज एस टी सेगमेंट एलिवेशन it might be in two continuous leads we'll talk about them later on so it is known as stemi but if there is no st segment elevation in uh, the ecg of the paper ecg of the patient it will be known as n stemi then these uh, stemi and stemi they can be further classified uh, we'll talk about them in other presentations the next one is the classification based on acs which is acute coronary syndrome so uh, when we talk about acs it is the umbrella term which covers three entities that is unstable angina and stemi and stemi stemi and stemi we discussed already and unstable angina means the person will be having chest pain even at rest which which will she will not be getting treated with uh, or getting relieved with rest or uh, with the help of anti anginal medication so that is your unstable angina abhi aap in teenon ko kaise differentiate karoge so remember there are three things first of all chest pain at rest the second one uh, the person has elevated cardiac biomarkers like trop t and trop i and the third one is positive ecg changes or we can say st segment elevation in the ecg so in teenon ke basis pe aap uh, in teen uh, types ko differentiate karoge like in unstable angina the chest pain will be there at rest but the other two things such as the ecg changes and the cardiac biomarkers this will not be affected in n stemi what happens the person will be having elevated cardiac biomarkers plus there will be chest pain even present at rest but the third thing which is ecg changes will not be there but in the third one which is stemi it is the most severe form of your acute coronary syndrome what happens in this the person will be having all three things that is the person will be having the uh, chest pain at rest the person will be having the uh, elevated cardiac biomarkers such as trop t and trop i and the third one which is ecg changes they will be st segment elevation seen on the ecg paper so these three will be positive in the stemi so classification of mi can be there on the basis of your acute coronary syndrome also the third classification which is not very commonly used but i thought you all should be known uh, knowing about this classification is as per types like you can you can have type 1 myocardial infarction type 2 myocardial infarction type 3 myocardial infarction type 4 myocardial infarction and type 5 myocardial infarction so let's talk about them one by one what happens in the type 1 myocardial infarction so basically this type of myocardial infarction is caused by coronary artery disease okay which is cad is usually because of the atherosclerosis so kya hua hai yahan pe the person has atherosclerotic plaque plaque disruption Jo plaque hai, atherosclerosis hai, that kind, that can get ruptured, that can uh, get uh, eroded from its place and can block the smaller coronary arteries causing the absolute ischemia and then infarction which is your type 1 myocardial infarction and the two main categories of type 1 will be STEMI and NSTEMI. So you see these classification are all interlinked to your st segment elevation myocardial infarction and non st segment elevation myocardial infarction will be a part of your type 1 myocardial infarction which is caused by disruption of atherosclerotic plaque and then you have further classification of stemi also like the st segment elevation myocardial infarction can be further classified into anterior Uh, mi anterior wall mi or you can have posterior wall mi or you can have lateral wall mi septal uh, mi or they can be inferior wall mi so these all are the further classification of stemi and uh, we'll be having one more video where we'll be talking in detail about all these types of st segment elevation myocardial infarction then the type 2 myocardial infarction isme kya hota hai in this type of myocardial infarction there is 
uh, imbalance between the oxygen demand and oxygen supply, which is uh, which can be caused by different reasons, such as it can be because of coronary atherosclerosis thrombosis also. It can be uh, in coronary uh, spasm also. It can be because of arrhythmias also, tachybrady arrhythmias. It can be because of hypotension, anemia or hypoxia also. So basically, is me kya hota hai? it is not because of the disruption of that atherosclerotic plate, but it is because because of any reason, because of spasm, because of uh, plaque formation, because of arrhythmias, kya ho raha hai? Heart may jitna blood aana chahiye, utna nahi aara. The coronary arteries are not able to supply enough blood to the heart muscles and because of which there is the imbalance between the oxygen demand, jitna heart ko oxygen chahiye, uski demand jo hai wo increase hai, but uski supply jo hai wo kam ho gai hai. So there is imbalance between the demand and supply leading to type 2 type of your myocardial infarction. Okay, the third type of myocardial infarction is me kya hota hai? Many times the people have uh, chest pain, many times the people have uh, uh, myocardial infarction causing the death, sudden cardiac death without full biomarker evidence. Iska matlab kya hua? That patients could not be tested for the elevation or change in the biomarkers before that only the person has died or maybe uh, in the autopsy uh, after after the death of the person post-mortem was done autopsy report has revealed that the cardiac biomarkers were elevated so the person could not be tested for uh, biomarkers change the biomarkers before that only the person has died so it is it comes under the classification as type 3 myocardial infarction. The fourth one, type 4 myocardial infarction is associated with the percutaneous coronary intervention. So what might happen during the coronary interventions in the cath lab when uh, PCIs are been uh, like they are been used, they are been done on the patient. It is a type of your procedure related myocardial infarction. Okay, PCI ke baad mein might be because of uh, a stent thrombosis, might be because of changes during the procedure what happens the person has got the another myocardial infarction after the procedure then it will be a part of your type 4 myocardial infarction then the fifth one is your type 5 which is related to or associated with the coronary artery bypass grafting so the person was like uh, the surgery which is cabg was done on the patient and then within 48 hours if a person has got myocardial infarction which might be because of graft failure also which might be because of procedure related changes also which might be because of traumatic injuries uh, caused during the uh, operations also the person has got episode of myocardial infarction so that will be a part of your type 5 myocardial infarction so uh, to summarize today we talked about the definition clinical definition and pathological definition of myocardial infarction then we talked about clinical classification of myocardial infarction so clinically we can define myocardial we can classify myocardial infarction as st segment elevation myocardial infarction we have non st segment elevation myocardial infarction then we have acs which is acute coronary syndrome again uh, of three types unstable angina STEMI and NSTEMI then we talked about type 1 type 2 type 3 type 4 and type 5 myocardial infarction type 1 myocardial infarction is further divided into STEMI and NSTEMI then we have type 2 myocardial infarction then 3 uh, 4 and 5 so uh, that's it for today thank you so much